All right, guys, what is going on? We got a lot to talk about today. I think I got a, I got a good one for you today. So uh, before I get started, uh, thanks to all my subs, my members. Uh, oh, speaking of members, if you want to support the channel, um, a real cheap way to do it is uh, become a member. I think I got it down to like 99 cents a month. So if you, if you feel like supporting the channel, great way to do that. Uh, or just watch the video all the way through. That one is free. Uh, if you just want to watch the video all the way through. Uh, guys, getting ready to go to the beach. You ready to go to the beach? So, uh, so I'm going to take you all along. I'm going to do a few things down there. Uh, do a little exploring, a little treasure hunting. So, I've got my metal detector ready. Um, who knows? If I find a, Lord, if I find a big old 14 karat gold earring or something, some earrings or something like that, maybe a, a lucky uh, subscriber or somebody might end up with those. So never know. Anyway, I got me, I went out and got me a nice pair of glasses. So, uh, yeah, let's see how good I, let's see how good I look in these things. Y'all ready to laugh? Oh, yeah. So anyway got my shades got my metal detector ready camera tripod all that stuff uh and uh got my tea so we're, we're gonna uh, we're gonna be going to the beach guys i'm gonna take you with me so i uh, hope you enjoy it hope you enjoy the content that uh i bring to you from the beach uh may try to go live uh that way you, you guys can uh interact with me interact with everything going on down there while I'm down there might do one live while I'm down there depending on I don't know if uh, they've got a good cell phone signal or not but we'll see guys we'll see I'll have to uh, watch sunset together or something like that how's that or sunrise everybody says uh, like a beach sunrise is uh, really awesome so uh, that being said let's talk a little bit about Carly Russell so, i uh, got a lot of people asking me about, you know, what, what do you think about the Carly Russell situation and all that. Um, so, I finally got a chance to study it. And now this is just my opinion, you know. Uh, so, it's just, just my opinion. But um, studying it, um, well, first of all, why, why do people do these hoaxes? I mean... We dealt with one already, hadn't we? In the Summer Wells case, uh, Don and Candace. Uh, yeah, I already dealt with a hoax in the Summer Wells case. There is a a person that I remember, but just vaguely remember a news article about. She was a social media influencer. And so I went and looked it up, and her name is Katie Sorensen. And uh, it says right here that uh, Katie falsely claimed a couple tried to kidnap her children while at a uh, crafts store in Northern California. And she's been sentenced to jail. Let's see what she got here. Uh, 90 days, 60 of which could be served on work release. So really she's only gonna get like 30 days probably. Um, why do people do this? That's the first thing I wanna know is why do people do these hoaxes? You know what I mean? I have no idea why they do it. Um, so, Getting back to Carly Russell, uh, after studying the case and uh, basically what all there is to know, because police really ain't saying much, uh, they've not really even come out and officially, uh, like officially and factually, say that she wasn't abducted. You know what I mean? I think we all know it's coming, but they haven't officially said that yet. 
Um, and what I think is going on is one of two things. Either this was for um, attention and money, or it could have been just for money, well, attention and money, or she's got a uh, serious uh, psychological issue going on here. Okay, guys. Um, I see where she was studying to be a nurse. Um, hell, she drove, she was in a Mercedes, I think, guys. Now, I don't know if that's her car or not, but she's in a freaking Mercedes. So, and she's studying to be a nurse. Not sure if she really needs the money, but... Uh, you know that that could definitely have been a factor behind the, the hoax um, attention and uh, or it could be it could be everything plus a mental uh, mental illness or it could just be a mental illness um, now looking at what prosecutors have on her and this this is a, another reason why they probably haven't arrested her too everybody's like why hadn't she been arrested why hadn't she been charged um number one i think they're still piecing this whole ordeal together um number two right now it just sounds like a bunch of misdemeanor a bunch of misdemeanors which ain't gonna carry nothing you know um, so I mean, point being, here, here's, here's what everybody's probably looking at, guys. Here's what everybody's looking at, or probably looking at. They're saying, okay, well, she's safe. Okay, first of all, she's safe. She, You know, that's over and done with. She's safe. So, you know, her, her safety is the number one priority. And then after that, we'll deal with the whole other mess that, that comes along with it. That's the road I think law enforcement's going down. Um, so I heard that she was evaluated. Uh, probably done a mental exam, mental evaluation. I'm thinking uh, more along the lines of maybe she had a mental um, breakdown, mental crisis going on, something like that. Which I, you know, if, if that's the case, hopefully she gets the help that she needs. Um, but it also makes me question that because she was a student in nursing. But I mean, anybody, I guess, depending on, because we, we don't know anything about Carly other than she was a student nurse. We don't know. Uh, if she was having some psychological issues before all this happened, we don't know if she was having some uh, relationship issues, um, which could have led to psychological issues. Uh, don't know if she had underlying psychological issues we didn't know about. Uh, there's just a lot to the girl that we really, in 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 her personal life, and uh, and and all that stuff, psychological well-being and all that stuff, we don't know. We don't have the answers to that right now. The cops are getting it. Um, and I think based off that, they'll, you know, make a decision on, you know, what what, they're, what road they're gonna go down. Uh, but right now, it basically looks like um, everything's gonna be a misdemeanor. I mean, I don't even know if she has char uh, if she has previous charges. I mean, she was a, a student uh, studying to be nurse, studying to be a nurse. Uh, more likely, if she's studying to be a nurse, she doesn't have a criminal background. Uh, more than likely, I'm not going to say she doesn't, but more than likely, with her, you know, uh, studying nurse nursing, uh, she doesn't have a criminal background, and that that'll play a big factor in uh, sentencing and, and all that stuff too. Uh, the other thing too is guys, I mean, if she was doing this for attention and money, um, the police need to be real careful 
of what they charge her with and how they prosecute her because uh, I don't know if she's got a defense attorney right now, but she really needs one. Uh, my understanding is, you know, she's already, um, you know, uh, invoked her Fifth Amendment, uh, you know, which is good for her, but bad for, for the investigators. Um, so, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. But, um, you know, like if they if they charge her with stuff and she ends up with a, a decent uh, defense attorney and she gets out of it, uh, I mean, could she turn around then, if this is all for money, could she turn around then and sue them? You know what I mean? Uh, so, you know, the police have to be real careful how they approach this, uh, depending on the circumstances and how this all played out. I mean, if, it, if she was doing this for attention and money um, and she ends up with a really good defense attorney um, and she's charged with a bunch of stuff that, you know, the defense attorney is like, you know, this is bogus. These are bogus charges. You can't even prove that she wasn't abducted. You know what I mean? Uh, and she could turn around and maybe sue for you know, sue them for bringing charges against her when they can't even prove that she was uh, abducted or not abducted. You know, so, uh, and then she could, you know, if it was, if this is all for money, then if she ends up with a legitimate lawsuit on the, on, you know, the state, the police, whoever, you know, then there she gets her money more likely. You know what I mean? Um, so, in this day and age, people do sneaky things for money, guys. They, they really do. Um, we don't even know right now if uh, the Summer Wells case is just a big hoax. I mean, the way Don and Candace are acting, you'd almost think this, you know, Summer going missing is just a big hoax. Um, you know, are Don and Candace playing games with CPS? Did they know CPS was you know, um, just about ready to uh, put Summer into state's custody and they fixed that before they got her, right? Sure don't act like a, uh, they sure haven't acted like parents where uh, their kid was abducted and could possibly be dead, you know what I mean? So, but we'll see, we'll see how this turns out. Um, right now, I think the police are just trying to get down to the bottom of things. They know that they're looking at probably just a bunch of misdemeanors here. And if she plays the mental card, um, you know, that's one thing. Now, if she really did have a mental crisis, that's another thing. Um, I'm still I'm still on the fence on whether she really had a mental crisis and done this out of that or it was maybe for attention and money you know what I mean um, it seems like it was kind of planned out so I don't know about the you know with 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 the internet searches that they found y'all know y'all heard about that right her internet searches I don't know that makes me question whether she had a, a mental crisis, you know what I mean? It, it's possible, uh, but you know, at, at this stage in the game, uh, until we hear more from police, anything's possible. So, but yeah, two things I'm going with are attention and money, or it was just a, a mental crisis and, uh, you know, because I've, I've, we've seen, I've seen a few of these cases where people go missing in, like, national parks, and they just go missing, period, and they find them, and they're, you know, you, you hear about the police finding them, and then you hear later on down in the news article, you, you see that, you always see the statement, uh, a family is hoping that she gets, or, you know, they're hoping that they get the help that they need. And that tells me that they probably had a mental crisis going on, or, you know, 
um, maybe already had pre-existing mental you know illness going on stuff like that we don't even know her history uh, she could have had uh, you know Carly could have had a pre-existing mental illness and we not know about it um, so it's just a it's just the waiting game right now guys um, Will she get charged? Yeah, I, I, I think she'll get, I mean, they, unless it was an actual mental crisis, um, she's going to get charged. She's going to have to pay back, you know, she's going to pay back restitution. She'd be fined and, you know, there'll be restitution stuff out the yin yang for her. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, if she's never been arrested before, um, and all these charges are just going to be misdemeanors anyway. Um, it's just, you know, it's a sad situation. You know, what do you, what do, you do? It's just like Katie Sorensen here. She's going to spend 30 days in jail. Uh, do this, do that. Um, let's see, what, what did they say? Uh, work release. Um. That's basically it, work release. So, a little bit of jail time, probably uh, a couple years probation and, and definitely some restitution. Um, but for the resources to, to get pulled from where they got pulled and to be part of this whole investigation, her going missing, it is... It's very, very sad because resources were pulled that could have went to, you know, other emergencies and, st and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Uh, but what's done is done. Can't go back now and, and, and do it over. Um, all you can do is uh, try to figure out what happened, in my opinion, and... Uh, You know, whether it's a mental mental issue, you know, uh, try to fix that. You know, try to help, you know, get her the help that she needs so it doesn't happen again. Uh, if it was for attention and money or something like that, um, you want to make sure that you, you do what's needed to be done so she doesn't do it again. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, hell, maybe give her one year in jail, you know. Uh, give, give her something to think about while she's sitting, you know, she's, and I'm sure, I'm sure her, uh, her nursing, I'm sure her life at this point, because it's not like she's going to get 20 years, guys, it's not like she's going to get 20 years for all this, but her life's basically, professionally over, more than likely, unless this was a mental crisis, um, I mean, yeah, this is probably, this is definitely going to affect her nursing career, college, um, her family, her family's going to, you know, people's going to be digging into her family, see it, or, you know, and friends to see if they knew anything, you know what I mean? Um, but I'd say for the next few years, Carly's life is basically screwed, uh, and maybe longer than that if this was intentional and for attention and, and money or something like that. You know, guys. So, that's what I think. Um, let me know what you think. Where, where, Where's your mind going in this investigation? Uh, is it going the same place mine is? Is it going someplace totally different? Um, are you thinking something I've never, I didn't even touch on? Uh, if so, drop some comments. Let me know. Uh, we'll discuss it. Um, it's a very, very interesting case. So, but we'll, we'll see what the cops find out and where this goes from here. And again, if it was something, if she was having a mental crisis, hopefully she does get the help that she needs. You know what I mean? Uh, and she's safe. I mean, number one, she's safe. Number two, you know, let, let's, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we, when we get to it, but she's safe. And, um, 
you know, if she needs help, she can hopefully get it now. If she needs punished, hopefully she'll get it. You know what I mean? So let me know what you think, guys. And, uh, God, I can't wait to go to the beach. Can't wait. So uh, I can't wait to have you guys hanging out with me down, down there. So uh, be ready for some good content coming from the beach. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow night. So thanks for hanging with me.